How many of you heard the song, The Freaks Come Out at Night? Well, the freaks are definitely in the house because we are going to take a look at the Freak Show Atomizer. Be right back. <laughs> What's up, vape heads? DJ B, and we are back at Big Time Vapes. We're going to be taking a look at the Freak Show Atomizer, and there's been a number of reviews that's been done on this particular device, but let me tell you, I am a huge fan of the Freak Show. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump down into the ditch down here, and I'm going to do some close-ups of this device then we're going to come back up front screen. We're going to vape on it, talk about it, and how much you might have to pay for this. So let's do that right now. Guys, here we are up close with the Freak Show. Pardon my coils and my cotton. It looks kind of janky, um, but I'm loving this so much right now I didn't want to clean it out. But... Uh, I might do that here in just a minute so you can see down inside the deck. But anyway, here is the box that it comes in. And they actually manufacture this device. Uh, so it is an authentic. Um, and of course it has Freak Show in the top of the box. Uh, and let's open it up here. And inside you do get a screwdriver. I've just removed it. Uh, but you get some spare screws right here for your posts and some spare o-rings as well so there's basically three parts to this device one is your top cap uh, one thing about this device it does not come with a drip tip so but you can see right inside here it's kind of concave uh, it's got a nice lip to it there bring it up close so you can see there's a good shot of it sorry it's all janky with juice uh, but yeah that's the top and then we have of course the center barrel has the nice skeleton uh, logo put on the front there spin it around and you see the cyclops air holes air holes let me get it around right and of course they're lined up perfectly with each other one right across the other so you have one on this side and you spin it around and you have another one right here so that is your center barrel and then of course you have your build deck which it is uh, has the three o-rings at the bottom so the barrel does fit snug down over top of it and then of course you flip it over and it has made by wofu and it has your serial number listed there, uh, center pin there. And then, of course, your posts are used with a little Allen wrench or like, kind of like a, it's not a star bit per se. It's Allen, Allen wrench. There's some that has like a triangle shape. Uh, but what I'm going to do, since I've already got this up close, is I'm going to go ahead and pause it right now. I'm going to clean this out uh, because I want you to see down into the deck. So we'll be right back. Okay, now we're back and we have an up close view of the deck itself. And guys, I apologize, I don't know what gauge of Canthal and uh, I've used on this because um, I've coiled this thing up about a week ago and I forgot. But I wanted to show you this thing up close. Hopefully you can see this with the coils left in. Right here, I'll bring my pointer in. This area right in here is your airflow channel and right over here on the other side where my pointer is is also another airflow channel and these directly correspond with the airflow right down here in the side of this thing as you can see right here your air channels on this side and then we flip it over and there's your air channel on this side 
that totally lines up with both of these air channels on the top here right underneath your coils. That's why it's important when you build on this that you try to get your coils as much over center of these things as you can. If you notice mine are a little bit more to the inside but I need to adjust those. Now right down in neath here next to your, where your leads go in is you, this is your juice well all the way down in through here uh, on this side as well as this side and how I drip on this is I tend to drip right down into the center over this center post and let it run down into the well in between it's okay if you freshly wick this to drop a couple drops right on your coils but if you over drip onto these coils uh, it's going to leak and drip right down into your airflow channel which which is seated right beneath it. So I always when I drip on this I'm careful to drip right here into the center and then let it all flow down in here into your juice well. It's a fairly deep juice well um, and then of course when I cotton it up I let the cotton uh, I pack the well up down here uh, with your cotton. Now this is also an Allen screw or an Allen wrench which they provide you for these posts. Um, it's fairly easy to build on because these deck posts set up so high from the actual deck that you have a lot of clearance right here to build on. You know a lot of your post holes are way down lower into the juice deck and you kind of have to bend your coils up to get the leads threaded through but this is a fairly straight shot deal for me uh, it was very easy to build on so yeah that's an up close look at the deck and what we're going to do now is I'm going to uh, wick this thing up we're going to go up to full screen we're going to vape on it and talk about it some more okay guys that's an up close look at the freak show now one of the things that I uh, have formed an opinion about on this particular device is this is not really for the cloud chasers. This is for your flavor chasers out there. So if you're a flavor chaser, this is going to be a great fit for you. This is not considered, in my opinion and my experience with this device, this is not something that's going to give you huge cloud production. However, the flavor is very awesome. Very awesome? That sucks. Why did I say that? This flavor is just awesome. There we go. Yeah, so I'm a big fan of the Freak Show. I've seen bigger cloud production off of an atomizer, uh, but it, it does fairly well. Again, if you're a flavor chaser, this is the way to go. And um, I've seen these available. Actually, there's a version 2 already out. I've had this less than a month, and there's already a version 2, which is totally on the barrel. It's got carbon fiber on it. But anyway, you can find this device anywhere from 20 bucks up to $29. So, hey, if you're on a budget, this is a fantastic atomizer at what I think to be a fantastic price. Uh, so you can't go wrong if you like the good flavor. And of course, uh, the device I'm using is the CloudPort T6, uh, which is a 100 watt box mod. And I'm not going to do a review on this one, uh, but this is a fantastic box mod. It's got the magnetic back which holds a 26650 battery and this one has a 4200 mAh battery in it. This can also hold a single 18650 battery and you can find these devices uh, anywhere from uh, around $100 up to about $129. But yeah, fantastic device. Battery venting right here. And then we have battery venting down on the bottom, which you may not be able to see on camera. But, yeah, it's just one of my other mods, uh, box mods in my collection. So, anyway, uh, Freak Show, let's vape on it one more time and we'll get out of here. All right. 
DJ B saying vape up baby and ride that cloud.